Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about the difference between int dot parse method and int dot to try parse method. So both has work almost same, but the key difference is int dot parse method or generate exception, but to if you are using int dot try parse, it won't generate any exception. So int dot try parse method or uh, is to true or false value. If a particular a block succeeded, then that return true or if uh, that block fail, then that return false. So let's see by example. So at your first I am going to take a string variable st and here I am going to give 1 to 2. And here after I am going to take integer variable x and here int dot parse. So at here I am going to parse st. Now here after console class dot to write line method. So at here I am going to print x value. So how's the program work? st value initialized to 1 to 2. So this is a string. So at here this point that store 1 to 2 and 1 to 2 that convert into integer because at here I am using int dot parse method so 1 to 2 that is integer now so integer 1 to 2 that go to x and here that print 1 to 2 so let's execute the code so see 1 to 2 it's a printing now hereafter let's uh, copy this particular line and uh, hereafter break down and uh, here this time going to initialize uh, at here null and uh, here I'm going to give str and here x1 and here str so, str value is now initialized with null and here null it's come null and uh, now null that to uh, try to convert into integer by using int dot parse method. So, that won't happen so that will definitely give the exception. So, let's execute and see. So, 1, 2, 2 it's a uh, printing now here that to uh, generate the exception. Oh, system dot argument null exception occurred. So for this to avoid the exception, we have to use int dot try parse method. So let's use add here try parse method. Copy this line and here uh, click to paste. So a string that uh, giving str one uh, that initializes to null here. Yeah. I am going to take the integer variable array as and uh, hereafter going to take bool variable initializing with b1 and here int dot try parse so and here try parse or take uh, two parameter first is integer and next sorry first is a string tag and second Alt int. So I bought this one. Try parse. Convert the string representation of a number of its 32 bit sign integer. A return value indicate whether the conversion is succeed. So if res value, so at here let's uh, give str1. So this is a string term and write out and here res. If res value is uh, 0, that means uh, the operation failed. If res has some value, that means the operation succeeded. So, add here, let's uh, print to console class dot right line. So, add here, I am going to print the value of b1. And uh, here, I am going to print also res value.
Now hereafter let's execute the code. So first I'm going to mark this one in comment, otherwise that generates the exemption. And hereafter let's execute the code once more time. So 1 to 2, it's uh, displaying for this one here. Or uh, this operation is failed. That's why here that generate once and here uh, is value 0. So RS value is 0 now. Let's check what is the value of uh, this on. So I'm going to copy this. And uh, here I'm going to print Ctrl D. Now hereafter execute the code. So see at here, or one to do for that one here, false. So this value is now returning false. And false value go to B1. And here RS value is 0. So this is the way we can handle the exception by using in dot try first method. So here after I'm going to mark this one comment and here s dot slash. So another exception suppose if I'm going to enter a string str and initializing with 100.99. So this is not a good format. So if you are going to use int x2 and equal to int dot parse and here I am going to print str to value. Now here after console clause So at your console class dot to right line method. So at here I am going to print the value of x2. So at here uh, SQL, str2 value is now 100.99. So at here it's come 100.99. So this 100.99 that try to convert into the integer. So this string 100.99. So because this is a not in good format so definitely that keep the exception so let's uh, execute and see so first uh, at here let's uh, delete this one not required no execute again so see at here 122 now here that uh, generate the exception system dot format exception occur so this is the problem with the uh, in dot parse method. So to avoid the exception, let's uh, copy this line and use the uh, try parse method one more time. So 100. So this time going to mark this one or as here give str3 and uh, here I'm going to write rex1. And here after write the bool of b2 equal to int dot try parse. So at your str3 or comma out res 1. So here after this is a code. Now here let's uh, mark this one comment and here we have to print b2 value. So at here let's execute the code. So at here see 1 to 2 and false. So at here this value is now 0. That's why this return false and false go to b2 here that to so if you are using in dot parse method, so this uh, generate exception, but here it's not. So suppose if I enter hundred only at here, so this is the uh, 
good format. So the definitely that return or uh, this return d2 value is now uh, true and yeah, this value is now 100. So uh, let's uh, debug the code directly and uh, f11. So see right here, f3 3. So this value is now 100 and here yeah, alt. So this value is now 100. This one value also 100. That means operation succeeded. So if operation succeeded, so this value returned true. So BT value is now go to a uh, BT value is now true here. Yeah, that means true. So this is the second uh, example to use. So um, intro try intro try parse method in place of uh, parse method. So let's see one more example. So this time I'm going to use add here. First I'm going to remove the coming. And here I'm going to give uh, add the lots of zero. So this is str2 value. That's all. And uh, since uh, this value is too long. So this is odd from index. So this is out of range of integer. So definitely that gives the exception. So let's execute the code. So this will give a system overflow exception. So see at here overflow exception. Oh, uh, that here additional information value of uh, value was either two large or two small. So this is in 32. So this is two large. So that here that to uh, give the exception. So to handle the exception, so add here. Let's add here lots of zero and. Uh, here yeah, this is lots of zero and here yeah, I'm going to mark this one comment slash a star and a star slash so since add here yeah, star three value is no this so add here yeah, this value is no alt this one so since the operation is failed because there are uh, lots of zero and uh, this is not the range of integer so this value give or uh, zero. So this value is now RS value is zero. So that uh, this is now false. So false value go to beta. Execute the code and say so one to two and false. So if you are going to use in dot or uh, parse method, so that to uh, will give the so, uh, overflow exception. But if you are going to use the same thing by using in dot try parse, so that handle the exception. So if uh, something is wrong so that return false so this is the best practice to use the try parse method if you know something some if you feel like the error or exception will come so if you are going to use large program so there you should not use this kind of things so this uh, in this video i discussed about three important things or three important difference with example by using in dot parse method and in dot try parse method. So I hope guys you understand the differences. So if you have any query related to this, leave your comment. Definitely I will reply. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.